here's how the judging works. All of the preliminary scores have been wiped out, and our judges start fresh with these 10 finalists. The highest and lowest scores will be tossed out, and the remainder will be averaged. Now, on to the first part of tonight's competition. We want you to get to know the delegates, so we're gonna do it with just a little bit of a twist. In keeping with the international spirit of this pageant, each delegate has been assigned another delegate, and she has to learn everything she can about the other delegate's country. So let's see how well they studied for this world tour. And for those who need it, we have professional translating service here to help us. So let's meet our first delegate, Miss South Africa. She got together with the delegate from the Mediterranean island of Malta. Now, Miss South Africa, we understand that you want to spread the word that South Africa is multicultural. What was the most fascinating thing you learned about the Maltese culture? I think that the most important thing about the Maltese culture was that they were extremely warm. This is what my Maltese partner conveyed to me. They're also quite a diverse community in terms of the fact that they have a very English community. Um, if you're not aware, it used to be ruled by the English government one, once upon a time. So they have an English community, a British community, as well as Italian. So they're also quite diverse, very similar to South Africa. Oh, sounds interesting. Now. I understand that you play quite a few musical instruments. Did you learn anything about the music of Malta? Yes, I did. Something that's most common to Malta is folk music, um, which they perform village dancing to, and it's called the Contra Danza. I think I'm gonna have to learn that dance. Thank you very much. Would you step over here? Miss Russia. She took notes from Miss Ghana to study up for our little world tour. Miss Russia, now you're about to have your own television interview show. Did you learn anything about television in Ghana? Oh, yes. <laughs> Actually, it's uh, similar uh, as all over the world. It's international, it's modern, it's, uh, it has a lot of music, it has a lot of uh, actors, movies, and everything what uh, any television has. Well, there you have it. So Ghana's no different than anywhere else you're saying then, right? Well, it, it's a little bit different climate. It's hot It's in, in West Africa, but it's beautiful. So when you do your interviews, you just sweat a lot. Got it. Okay, great. Russia is a very cold and very big country. Ghana is a very warm, very small country. What do you think your countries have most in common? In my country... Um, what they would have in common? What, what would be similar between the two countries? Well, I think um, a lot of cultural things, uh, uh, as I said, the uh, television and movies and... Uh, um, uh, <laughs> and people sweat in Russia and they sweat in Ghana, right? Uh, I, I think there is no difference between young generation because they all like the same thing. They like to go out, they like to go to the clubs, uh, they enjoy the same things. It's all over the world. Very good. Thank you very much, Miss Russia. Step over your people. Miss Ireland. Now she hooked up with Miss Aruba to learn about one of the ABC islands just north of South America. Now after you finish school, you want to take a year off to travel. I understand. Now if you visited Aruba, what's the one thing you'd want to see most? Well, Aruba is known as one happy island, uh, so that's good. They have white beaches and one climate all year which is hot. So that's a change from Ireland, and I think I'd enjoy that, the beaches. Would you wear a lot of sunscreen because your skin's so fair? Would you think you'd wear a lot of sunscreen out on the beaches out there? Well, my mother's Indian, so I tan fairly easily. I have sallow skin, so I don't need... I'm not like most Irish people. I can t get a suntan. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay. So you both live on islands now, both of you. What's the biggest difference in the Emerald Isle as the Isle of Aruba? Well, I think it's similar in the fact that the people seem to be friendly. The difference would be that Aruba, Aruba depends solely on tourism for their source of income, and Ireland doesn't. We have our own industries and different sources of income. So that would be the main difference. Oh, excellent, thank you very much. Step over.
Miss Brazil. She took an imaginary trip across the Atlantic to learn about customs from Miss Cyprus. We'll have an interpreter for Miss Brazil. Your first question is, you want to be a judge in your country there, and there are many female, I'm sorry, there are, there are many female judges, excuse me. What did you learn about the role of women in Cyprus? Você que está estudando para um dia ser juíza, o que que você aprendeu sobre a ilha do Chipre, das mulheres que querem ser juízas lá? Bom, first, thank you and mahalo. Yeah. <laughs> O que eu aprendi sobre as mulheres na ilha de Chipre é que as mulheres lá estão conseguindo tomar uma posição similar às mulheres, aos homens. Isso é muito importante. Eu acho que isso é um ponto muito positivo que eu vi nas mulheres de Cyprus. I found out that the women in Cyprus are having a very powerful position as in the same level as the men do and I think this is a very important role for women to have in the island of Cyprus. Yes, it is. Now, Ms. Brazil, Portuguese is your native language when you first got together. How did you and Cyprus communicate? Porque o português é a sua língua nativa, como é quando você conheceu a representante da Ilha do Chipre, que você podia se comunicar com ela? English is my second language. Thank you very much, Ms. Brazil. Thank you. Miss Colombia, she spent the last few days learning about the customs of Ukraine. Miss Colombia, now, and we have an interpreter for her. Latin American men are, are not known for being bashful. What did you learn about men in the Ukraine? Los hombres latinoamericanos no se conocen por ser tímidos. ¿Qué has aprendido tú sobre los, los hombres de Ucrania? Bueno, la verdad, los hombres ucranianos eh, son un poco más tímidos que los latinos. Los latinos somos muy alegres, muy espontáneos y nos caracteriza, nos caracteriza, nos caracteriza eso aquí y en cualquier lugar del mundo. Pero yo pienso que si voy a Ucrania y conozco a un hombre ucraniano, puedo enseñarle a ser un poco extrovertido y puede ser que le vaya muy bien. Well, Ukrainian men are more timid than Latin American men, but uh, Ukrainian uh, men are, or Latin American men rather, are known because they are so bold and so uh, happy, such a happy-go-lucky uh, type of people. But I think that if I go to Ukraine and I meet a nice Ukrainian man, that I could teach him to be more extroverted. Perfect. Thank you very much, Ms. Colombia. We'll be back with the remaining five of our ten finalists right here on CBS.